Did y'all win? No, we still have to play. Okay. It hasn't happened yet, but it's 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 quite the possibility. I'm, oh, I'm very that, curious. Boss, that'll be so dope. Man. Oh no, man! I, I wish y'all the best of luck. I'm a, I'm a little bit over 15 kilos away from a world no. tour. As much as I like having you here in the booth with me, I want to call one of your games again. Oh no! You better come to the local court. All right. <laughs> anyway, Forte missing on the inside. We're underway. Game two. Pussy action. Tommy and Buddy. Paris out to a 3 0 start, getting it done outside and inside. The Aces. Going against one of the best on ball defenders, perimeter wise, in the league, I would say, is Joko. True. Anyway, that action finished elsewhere. Joko with the rock now. Over to Funk Sigela, MVP of that Lausanne yeah. Masters. Man. He's going to knock down the deuce. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Lost the Aces like no Google Maps, huh? Did he hit him with, with, with a little ooey? He bumped him a little bit. There's Forte, see Forte. Hey, look, we, we talked about a couple of big men in the game of three here already, but just a, just a quick point here. Would you say Jules Rambeau is now one of the more elite big men in the game? I think he's completely underrated. Very much. I, I think we don't talk about Jules Rambeau enough. He was critical in helping Paris earn that silver medal in, in, uh, in the Olympic Games. He doesn't demand the ball. He does everything that you need, and he's got a good hairdo. How can you not like the man? Yeah, I'm talking. His, his trajectory of, of development has just been incredible to watch. From you know him being a, a youth player in the Nations Leagues where I saw him first, and now him shining on a stage like this, being such a dominant force in the rebound. He never takes the ball one on one in the post unless he really has to. But he's such a good catcher on lobs. He rolls to the basket. And he, he actually enables Sigela and Suhard to do what they want to do. Well, uh, credit to Coach Kareem Sochu for finding the right mix of players uh, to have the type of success that they've had this year. I do, that they, I do think that each guy, they shine in different areas, and it comes together to make a, a pretty strong unit. So far, they are the stronger of the two teams, a 5-2 advantage. So you got two of the top ten scores all time. With the Aces and Las Manas, Olympic champions in Tokyo. In 3X3's debut at the biggest sporting event in world history. If you're Forte, you join two, uh, two Olympic champions. That's not a bad place to be in. Right now, still trailing. Thievery, give me those. Batman, down low, right back, Las Manis. Turns the corner, got bumped. Didn't see, it. surprisingly, Chung Ming didn't advance out of the qualifying draw in Wuxi. They got stunned by Dusseldorf, by Dusseldorf. and Leon Ferti, who went bananas. 14 points, yeah. Another player whose trajectory of development has been just Wow, but also they didn't have they didn't have Las Manas, and he was the best player in the game at one point, and uh, that makes a difference. Yeah, true. I mean, he's Batman. We'll, we'll talk about Fertie when we get Dusseldorf on deck here, but I got him penciled in as newcomer of the year on your uh, on your end of the year ballot there. I actually, uh, you, I think you got to You you like Fertie, and I so Man, do I. I do. You've been telling me about Fertie for a while. Yep. When, when he scored the 14, I immediately thought about you. I said, Boz, is, Boz told me he was coming. Yep. <laughs> yep. Back down to a one point game. Segala. He had a certain je ne sais quoi on that shot. A little extra magic to get that thing to fall in. 7 4 is the result. Pull up. Hand up. Shot off. I'll take that, but this man is grubbing. Now, if you're Segala here, you got ISO, I'd be attacking. I'd be attacking the bully. Oh, 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 watch your step there, bully. Oh, oh man, in the face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he put a cross on that Cameron Forte treasure map, huh? All right. And Forte, all he could do was shake his head. He turned around and saw that splash. He said, oh, man. Got red both. Taking the can underneath this Paris lead this thing 10-6. Forte, Forte moving some furniture down low. And he will respond. Rambo, he can shoot those. 
the way Forte creates his uh, his advantage as far as physicality is, is incredible to watch. His footwork is sublime. You think he's just bullies, right? But he, he he turns his legs and his hips and his shoulders in the weapons and makes sure he, he attacks the angles on the defender that that it's it's hard to see. But well, it's it is it is a piece of beauty. Trust no, me. No, you're you're right, and he's got great touch. But it's that it's that body control. And if you look at him, he's not the biggest guy that you're that you're gonna see. He's not like he's two old six or you know. Uh, but he's just got that will, that heart, that grit. He's gonna get a rest right now. So the smaller lineup for Chong Ming. Looking at a three-point deficit. Rambo from the elbow with Las Manas defending. Hugo drops it off. Rambo. No good. Ball stays with Green. Suhart with Miezis defending. We got a whistle elsewhere. It's so loud in here, I didn't even hear the whistle. Uh -uh, you're right. What do you think about the, uh, the see-through screens going all around the venue? I think it's... I think it's dope. I think it's a vibe in here. I like the uh, like the red accent lighting. It feels like a UFC uh, like arena. It's, it's cool. I'm ready for uh, Bruce Buffer to say it's time. <laughs> there you go. A couple of fouls apiece, 6-10 on the game clock by the East in possession. I heard Noah just give us a shout out. Oh, for sure. Where is Noah? Down there. You can get lost in somewhere. This. Okay, he's down there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. What's up, Noah? Mike Lewis in the building, too. Yeah. And, and DJ Les. Yeah, doubles. Oh, MC Vidrock here as well. We got, we got, we got everything for you. Oh my goodness! Dang, we got Lass and Lewis. Oh, it's crazy. Mike said, Mike said he had some some Mama Piano songs for us. Oh, did he? He texted me. He's like, "What you need?" I'm like, "I need some of that. <laughs> I need some of that stuff you brought last year." He's like, "All right, I got you. Don't worry." That portfolio, that man, that playlist is gonna be crazy up there. Yeah, he's gonna have the crowd hype for sure. Got a good one going on here. One point contest. Party in front. A slender lead. Hugo. Suhar. Oh, lost the handle, but he had some help. Miasis. Whistle. Man, it's been such a busy year, Bob, with the Olympics. We're already well past the midway point. Tenth stop of the season that will culminate in Hong Kong. The, the fact that you still know what time zone you're on is uh, incredible. Yes, it's, uh, I got to pat myself on the back. Yeah, please do. But it's good to be busy, man. I'll be, I'll be with you for the last stretch of the season for most of the tournaments, too. I am looking forward to it. Yep. We still got Macau and Abu Dhabi, Manama, Neom, Shenzhen before the Hong Kong final. Yeah, I'll skip the uh, I'll skip Macau and Shenzhen, but I'll be there for the uh, Neom, Abu Dhabi, and Manama Masters, and then the Hong Kong finals as well. We're gonna have some fun there. Oh yeah, I can't wait to show you Neom. You didn't go last year. I was there. Interesting. I yeah, mean, it's like a. What is it like a like a village, a sporting village where we all kind of stay? Yep. Yeah, a sporting village, and it's it's you know right next to the uh, the building project Neom out there, the sustainable uh, huge project that they're building out there. The line, uh, the ski resort. I don't remember the name right now, but they got a bunch of stuff that they're building, all right. which is incredible. But look, I don't know if it's going to be as incredible as this venue though. So. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I don't think we'll see anything like this. You, you need some breakfast? Uh, I have I have my coffee, and I gotta wait about halfway through my uh ba my baguette uh, before I came over. Oh, we're good. Thank right. you. They got us some fruits. They got us some some drinks. Whenever I text them, somebody's gonna bring us some, some more food. Oh my! Look, I got it set up. Don't spoil me. We got food. Yeah. We got food. Oh wait a second. What's happening? 
Four and a half to go. If you miss game one, start off pull D action. You you missed a an explosion from Dennis Donker with a 16 point outburst. But luckily you're here now. A lot more three X three action to come in the day. Segela drops it over or try to at least. They're saying Chong Ming Ball. Segela is debating, and our officials are going to discuss. Who's rocked that it should actually be? I think Segala got stuck in between trying to score and then passing. Scoring might have been a better option because yeah. both players went to Rambo. I'd say just go up with it. Yeah. Try to draw a foul, if anything, but that pass was too risky. Robin to Batman. Batman back to Robin. Miezis, uh-oh. Rambo got a hand up long rebound lance in Mace's hands he'll kick it over to batman and his stroke was broke guys minus will check out still fairly youthful las minus at 30 and the ace is at 33. they still got they still got some years left Oh, some young legs right there. Jules Rambo, two-handed smash. Rambo, 26, by the way. Yeah, he's got more years left, let's just say that. But I think what you alluded to, Los Manos and is not done yet. The fact, uh, the question is, what do we have to prove in the game? They've won everything. Yeah, I, I thought about that, too. Uh, they, number one, when you win a gold medal at the Olympics, there's nothing that can top that. They're World Tour final winners. They're European champions. They, that's when they first hit the map here in Amsterdam, 17. Yep. Silver medalists at the World Cup. Uh, it's not a whole lot left that they that they would have to do. I mean, they, they, yeah, I think they've won it all. And again, it's it's uh, it's interesting to see how they adapt to not having that challenge anymore. I think they're still. They still have that fire, right? Yep. You can still see it burning, but um, they have to adapt to new teammates now every year. They, uh, you know, they feature on, on Beijing last year, now on Chongming. It's interesting. Pull up two, corner. There's the misses and the assists right there. My sister Pony Matt, Danielle. There you go. First time in Amsterdam. So good to see them in attendance. 14 11. Top two from each group advance. Just a reminder for you as eight will head to the quarterfinals tomorrow after a 12-game slate today. Segala gets some freedom! <laughs> and knocks it down. All right. What's that from? Uh, What's that Braveheart? from? Braveheart? Oh, cool. Oh, Come on. Uh, I, can't, I couldn't get that one past you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They bust, and they bust back. We got a shootout. Blau, blau. 15 up. Mini, no good. Segala will take the rebound. Merci. Makes his move. Up fake. Right back. Rambo on the cut, but you had to take that somewhere else, cut. Oh, and Forte. Oh, Forte. There's, there's this We're nimble footed one. Like you talked about that footwork I earlier, told you, That Look spin move, that. a piece of beauty. He creates the contact, and when somebody's trying to cut him off, he spins away. Crafty player. I like how Sagan was taking it right at Forte. Uh, he has an exact. He ain't bullying Rambo. No, no, that's a great matchup, and I think again, Forte, just as much as as we talked about Demarcus Cousins exerting himself on offense and, and then maybe lacking the energy on defense, I think Forte might be in the same boat. I think he does more well, on defense. I, I think he's going to have to, he's going to have to do more on defense because he's got Mies and Las Manis now, right? So the demand for his offensive output isn't as high. So he's got to commit more on the defensive end. 
The sprint to 21 is now turned into a sprint to five as we are to 16 apiece. This this area, this is like, how do you pronounce it, Bas? Gasholder? Uh, the Gashouder. Gashouder. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, Gashouder. In, in the Wester Park. Oh, I love it. Forte. Oh, Lefty oh. hook, good. Joko. Joko. Oh, look at the change of direction. Forte oh, was not impressed. Got a hand on it. Miesa's is coming around, looking to take some ankles. Down. Oh, what? Almost was a dime. No dime time that time. Segala. Good defense. Now. Segala so trying to get fancy with it. It's broken up inside. Buck and a half to play. Chong Ming at full steam for the first time this year. With all the stars in their cast. Joko with the D. That's the matchup that I really like to see. I, I like, you know, it's a team game. But I like a little one-on-one -on -one sometimes, Boss, a little ISO between two great players. Yep. And Miesa is walking away from that limping, though. Yeah, I think he knocked knees with uh, with Paul Joko. Yep. But he's all right now. Quick hands. That's another good matchup. I think this like, Paris, this Paris team, maybe with the exception of Hugo Suhard, who uh, tries hard on defense. But I think they're a very athletic and a very good defensive team. They can lock up. I think so. I, I like too hard defensively. Not the post. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's got some gaps to his defense. I'm not saying he's a bad defender. But he's got some gaps you can attack. But I think all the other players can switch every single matchup. They got quick hands. They got the athleticism to, to challenge a lot of shots. This Paris team is very tough to score against. I remember, especially at the early stages of the season, Amsterdam, they really couldn't figure that out. Last year, mainly, too. Yeah. Last year, they had a big problem going up against the athleticism of Team Paris. Paris, again, their body of work this year, runners up in Marseille. One, won it all in Lausanne. And in Shanghai, they finished runners up. So, uh, not too shabby. Mm -hmm. So, as we start making our way towards the end of the season, this is when that jockeying for position to qualify for the World Tour final becomes uh, the main focus. Oh, Miesis. Miesis, two-piece combo. 19-16, Chong Mi. Oh, great finish from Rambo. Paris ninth in the World Tour standings, by the way. Chong Ming, 20 seconds. I'm not sure what they qualified for for the rest of the year. They got some work to do if they want to get in that top 11. Mm -hmm. Two in front of Norris Miezis. Would be uh, considered a bit of an upset if this uh, this was a win for Chong Ming. Again, uh, look, they got the players, but not the standing. Yes, it's true. I, I, not not exactly an upset for me because you know I did pick them as my dark horse. Yeah, yeah you know. But but I, yeah, I get what you're saying. As dominant as Paris has been uh, this year, they are not going to get off to a dominant start here in Amsterdam because Chong Ming has something to say about it. Chong Ming, open up Group C action with a 21-17 W over the Frenchman. Let's give it. 